You may be asking yourself, how much memory do you really have on your mini Nintendo? There's a reason I use the debug version. It pulls up a command prompt window and you could genuinely check what you have on the mini. So once you open up the debug version, you have two windows. You have the main one, which is the interface. Then you have this one here. And after you flash, you'll see uh, the flash NAND size. It says 381.6 megabyte. Right now I'm currently using 73.9 megabyte of it. It says I have 288.1 megabytes free. Used by games, 18.6 megabytes. Used by save states, 2.6 megabytes. Used by other files, mods, configs, etc., 52.7. Now, even though the recommended amount to flash is around 300 megabytes, if you're installing a lot of uh, HMODs, especially like 44 megabytes or over, I would recommend sticking closer to 275 or less. If you try going too much into the 300 or over and you have all these HMODs installed, you're going to run into C2, C7, and C8 errors. Gen generally, C8 errors would be too much megabyte flashed. C7 error would show that the file doesn't exist. You may try running the game, and if you have the proper command line, the HMOD installed, the game installed, and you still get a C7 error, it's likely that you went over the megabyte that you should have flashed, and you didn't technically get a C8 error, but the C7 error would show that you do not have the H mode installed. And C2 is just a general error you can get once in a while. It's almost like a record skipping. I mean, it happens, like hitting a bumpy road with your car. Anyways, once in a while when you're looking at the memory, you may have weird results. What you're going to want to do, there's two things you could do to fix your memory issues. One, if you have your previous Hacksheet folders, you want to go into modules, and I pretty much just uninstall everything. That's a way to guarantee that you uninstall everything that you've ever installed. Once you have all your modules uninstalled, you have the option of turning the mini Nintendo on and going to reset default settings. This will not delete your games, not delete your folders, but it'll wipe out all the save states. I, just, I keep my save states pretty much clean. You could try doing a save state manager on here. Some people have issues with it, but it does work pretty decently if you get it running. But for the most part, I play the game when I'm done with it. I just wipe out the save states. I don't keep any save states on the system. Now, after you do this, if you're still having memory conflicts, what I'd recommend doing is going to where you have kernel. And you'd want to completely uninstall Hackshe. Then after that, you go into the flash an original and custom kernel and if you're unsure which order to do it in just try syncing games it'll make you do it anyway but once you uninstall the H mods, you uninstall Hackshe flash the original and custom kernel resync the games that you want you'll see that the memory numbers change because your memory has been cleared after that then you can go back to your modules and install your modules again you always want to make sure you have Retro Arc installed, you need that to play any of the modules, it's SNES, Genesis, etc. Some people will install just the SNES module and forget about Retro Arc and then they'll wonder why they're not able to play games. But ever since 2.14 when Clovershell was in Hexi, memory conflicts can occasionally occur and this is generally the process of fixing the memory issue. And I would recommend the debug version strictly for the fact that you can keep tabs on how much memory is on there. It's real nice, real easy, and it keeps uh, debug logs in case you ever have a, a potential problem. But anyways, hope this helps you out with a little bit of memory conflict issues and what you're working with. So even though 300 is the general number that's recommended, if you do use a lot of HMODs, change that to 275 and you'll be better off. Hope this helped.